The planet Jupiter has a system of rings known as the Rings of Jupiter or the Jovian Ring System. It was the third ring system to be discovered in the Solar System, after those of Saturn and Uranus. It was first observed in 1979 by the Voyager 1 space probe and thoroughly investigated in the 1990s by the Galileo orbiter. It has also been observed by the Hubble Space Telescope and from Earth for several years. Ground-based observations of the rings require the largest available telescopes. The Jovian ring system is faint and consists mainly of dust. It has four main components, a thick inner torus of particles known as the halo ring, a relatively bright, exceptionally thin main ring, and two wide, thick and faint outer gossamer rings. Named for the moons of whose material they are composed, Amalthea and Tebe, the main and halo rings consist of dust ejected from the moons Métis, Adrastia, and other unobserved parent bodies as the result of high-velocity impacts. High-resolution images obtained in February and March 2007 by the New Horizons spacecraft revealed a rich fine structure in the main ring. In visible and near-infrared light, the rings have a reddish color, except the halo ring, which is neutral or blue in color. The size of the dust in the rings varies, but the cross-sectional area is greatest for non-spherical particles of radius about 15 micrometers in all rings except the halo. The halo ring is probably dominated by submicrometer dust. The total mass of the ring system including unresolved parent bodies is poorly known, but is probably in the range of 1011 to 1016 kg. The age of the ring system is not known, but it may have existed since the formation of Jupiter. A ring could possibly exist in Himalaya's orbit. One possible explanation is that a small moon had crashed into Himalaya and the force of the impact caused material to blast off Himalaya. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Discovery and structure. Jupiter's ring system was the third to be discovered in the solar system, after those of Saturn and Uranus. It was first observed in 1979 by the Voyager 1 space probe. It is composed of four main components, a thick inner torus of particles known as the halo ring, a relatively bright, exceptionally thin main ring, and two wide, thick and faint outer gossamer rings, named after the moons of whose material they are composed, Amalthea and Tebe. The principal attributes of the known Jovian rings are listed in the table. Topic: Main ring. Topic: Appearance and structure. The narrow and relatively thin main ring is the brightest part of Jupiter's ring system. Its outer edge is located at a radius of about 129,000 kilometers, 1.806 rj. rj equals equatorial radius of Jupiter or 71,398 kilometers and coincides with the orbit of Jupiter's smallest inner satellite, Adrastea. Its inner edge is not marked by any satellite and is located at about 122,500 kilometers, 1.72 rj. Thus the width of the main ring is around 6,500 kilometers. The appearance of the main ring depends on the viewing geometry. In forward scattered light the brightness of the main ring begins to decrease steeply at 128600 kilometers just inward of the Adrastian orbit and reaches the background level at 129300 kilometers just outward of the Adrastian orbit therefore Adrastia at 129000 kilometers clearly shepherds the ring the brightness continues to increase in the direction of Jupiter and has a maximum near the ring's center at 126,000 km, although there is a pronounced gap notch near the Metidian orbit at 128,000 km. The inner boundary of the main ring, in contrast, appears to fade off slowly from 124,000 to 120,000 km, merging into the halo ring. In forward scattered light all Jovian rings are especially bright. In back scattered light the situation is different. The outer boundary of the main ring, located at 129,100 km, or slightly beyond the orbit of Adrastia, is very steep. The orbit of the Moon is marked by a gap in the ring so there is a thin ringlet just outside its orbit. There is another ringlet just inside Adrastian orbit followed by a gap of unknown origin located at about 128,500 km. The third ringlet is found inward of the central gap, outside the orbit of Métis. The ring's brightness drops sharply just outward of the Metidian orbit, forming the Métis notch. 
Inward of the orbit of Métis, the brightness of the ring rises much less than in forward scattered light. So in the back scattered geometry the main ring appears to consist of two different parts, a narrow outer part extending from 128,000 to 129,000 km, which itself includes three narrow ringlets separated by notches, and a fainter inner part from 122,500 to 128,000 km, which lacks any visible structure like in the forward scattering geometry. The Métis notch serves as their boundary. The fine structure of the main ring was discovered in data from the Galileo orbiter and is clearly visible in back-scattered images obtained from New Horizons in February to March 2007. The early observations by Hubble Space Telescope HST, Keck and the Cassini spacecraft failed to detect it, probably due to insufficient spatial resolution. However the fine structure was observed by the Keck telescope using adaptive optics in 2002-2003, observed in back scattered light the main ring appears to be razor thin, extending in the vertical direction no more than 30 km. In the side scattered geometry the ring thickness is 80-160 km, increasing somewhat in the direction of Jupiter. The ring appears to be much thicker in the forward scattered light—about 300 km. One of the discoveries of the Galileo orbiter was the bloom of the main ring, a faint, relatively thick about 600 kilometers cloud of material which surrounds its inner part. The bloom grows in thickness towards the inner boundary of the main ring, where it transitions into the halo. Detailed analysis of the Galileo images revealed longitudinal variations of the main ring's brightness unconnected with the viewing geometry. The Galileo images also showed some patchiness in the ring on the scales 500 to 1000 km. In February to March 2007, New Horizons spacecraft conducted a deep search for new small moons inside the main ring. While no satellites larger than 0.5 km were found, the cameras of the spacecraft detected seven small clumps of ring particles. They orbit just inside the orbit of Adrastia inside a dense ringlet. The conclusion, that they are clumps and not small moons, is based on their azimuthally extended appearance. They subtend 0.1 to 0.3 degrees along the ring, which correspond to 1,000 to 3,000 km. The clumps are divided into two groups of five and two members, respectively. The nature of the clumps is not clear, but their orbits are close to 115 to 116 and 114 to 115 resonances with Métis. They may be wave-like structures excited by this interaction. Topic. Spectra and particle size distribution Spectra of the main ring obtained by the HST, Keck, Galileo and Cassini have shown that particles forming it are red, i.e. their albedo is higher at longer wavelengths. The existing spectra span the range 0.5 to 2.5 micrometers. No spectral features have been found so far which can be attributed to particular chemical compounds, although the Cassini observations yielded evidence for absorption bands near 0.8 micrometers and 2.2 micrometers. The spectra of the main ring are very similar to Adrastia and Amalthea. The properties of the main ring can be explained by the hypothesis that it contains significant amounts of dust with 0.1 to 10 micrometers particle sizes. This explains the stronger forward scattering of light as compared to back scattering. However, larger bodies are required to explain the strong back scattering and fine structure in the bright outer part of the main ring. Analysis of available phase and spectral data leads to a conclusion that the size distribution of small particles in the main ring obeys a power law n r equals a times r minus q display style n r equals a times r caret q, where north r doctor is a number of particles with radii between r and r plus doctor and a display style a is a normalizing parameter chosen to match the known total light flux from the ring. The parameter Q is 2.0 plus or minus 0.2 for particles with R15 plus or minus 0.3 micrometers. The distribution of large bodies in the MKM size range is undetermined presently. The light scattering in this model is dominated by particles with R around 15 micrometers. The power law mentioned above allows estimation of the optical depth tau, display style script style tau of the main ring. Tau L equals 4.7 times 10 minus 6, display style script style tau underscore L equals 4.7 times 10 caret minus 6 for the large bodies, and tau S equals 1.3 times 10 minus 6, display style script style tau underscore S equals 
1.3 times 10 carat minus 6 for the dust. This optical depth means that the total cross section of all particles inside the ring is about 5,000 square kilometers. The particles in the main ring are expected to have spherical shapes. The total mass of the dust is estimated to be 107 minus 109 kg. The mass of large bodies, excluding Métis and Adrastia, is 1011 minus 1016 kg. It depends on their maximum size, the upper value corresponds to about 1 km maximum diameter. These masses can be compared with masses of Adrastia, which is about 2 times 1,015 kg, Amalthea, about 2 times 1,018 kg, and Earth's moon, 7.4 times 1022 kg. The presence of two populations of particles in the main ring explains why its appearance depends on the viewing geometry. The dust scatters light preferably in the forward direction and forms a relatively thick homogeneous ring bounded by the orbit of Adrastia. In contrast, large particles, which scatter in the back direction, are confined in a number of ringlets between the Matidian and Adrastian orbits. Topic. Origin and age The dust is constantly being removed from the main ring by a combination of pointing Robertson drag and electromagnetic forces from the Jovian magnetosphere. Volatile materials, for example ices, evaporate quickly. The lifetime of dust particles in the ring is from 100 to 1000 years, so the dust must be continuously replenished in the collisions between large bodies with sizes from 1 cm to 0.5 km and between the same large bodies and high-velocity particles coming from outside the Jovian system. This parent body population is confined to the narrow—about 1000 km—and bright outer part of the main ring, and includes Métis and Adrastia. The largest parent bodies must be less than 0.5 km in size. The upper limit on their size was obtained by New Horizons spacecraft. The previous upper limit, obtained from HST and Cassini observations, was near 4 km. The dust produced in collisions retains approximately the same orbital elements as the parent bodies and slowly spirals in the direction of Jupiter forming the faint in backscattered light innermost part of the main ring and halo ring. The age of the main ring is currently unknown, but it may be the last remnant of a past population of small bodies near Jupiter. Topic. Vertical corrugations Images from the Galileo and New Horizons space probes show the presence of two sets of spiraling vertical corrugations in the main ring. These waves became more tightly wound over time at the rate expected for differential nodal regression in Jupiter's gravity field. Extrapolating backwards, the more prominent of the two sets of waves appears to have been excited in 1995, around the time of the impact of comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 with Jupiter, while the smaller set appears to date to the first half of 1990. Galileo's November 1996 observations are consistent with wavelengths of 1920 plus or minus 150 and 630 plus or minus 20 kilometers, and vertical amplitudes of 2.4 plus or minus 0.7 and 0.6 plus or minus 0.2 kilometers for the larger and smaller sets of waves, respectively. The formation of the larger set of waves can be explained if the ring was impacted by a cloud of particles released by the comet with a total mass on the order of 2 to 5 times 1,012 kg, which would have tilted the ring out of the equatorial plane by 2 km. A similar spiraling wave pattern that tightens over time has been observed by Cassini in Saturn's C and D rings. Topic. Halo ring Topic. Appearance and structure The halo ring is the innermost and the vertically thickest Jovian ring. Its outer edge coincides with the inner boundary of the main ring approximately at the radius 122,500 km 1 RJ. From this radius the ring becomes rapidly thicker towards Jupiter. The true vertical extent of the halo is not known but the presence of its material was detected as high as 10,000 km over the ring plane. The inner boundary of the halo is relatively sharp and located at the radius 100,000 km RJ, but some material is present further inward to approximately 92,000 km. Thus the width of the halo ring is about 30,000 km. Its shape resembles a thick torus without clear internal structure. 
In contrast to the main ring, the halo's appearance depends only slightly on the viewing geometry. The halo ring appears brightest in forward scattered light, in which it was extensively imaged by Galileo. While its surface brightness is much less than that of the main ring, its vertically perpendicular to the ring plane integrated photon flux is comparable due to its much larger thickness. Despite a claimed vertical extent of more than 20,000 km, the halo's brightness is strongly concentrated towards the ring plane and follows a power law of the form Z-0.6 to Z-1.5, where Z is altitude over the ring plane. The halo's appearance in the back scattered light, as observed by Keck and HST, is the same. However its total photon flux is several times lower than that of the main ring and is more strongly concentrated near the ring plane than in the forward scattered light. The spectral properties of the halo ring are different from the main ring. The flux distribution in the range 0.5 to 2.5 micrometers is flatter than in the main ring. The halo is not red and may even be blue. Topic: <laughs> Origin of the halo ring. The optical properties of the halo ring can be explained by the hypothesis that it comprises only dust with particle sizes less than 15 micrometers. Parts of the halo located far from the ring plane may consist of submicrometer dust. This dusty composition explains the much stronger forward scattering, bluer colors and lack of visible structure in the halo. The dust probably originates in the main ring, a claim supported by the fact that the halo's optical depth tau S ten minus six display style script style tau underscore s sim ten carat minus six is comparable with that of the dust in the main ring. The large thickness of the halo can be attributed to the excitation of orbital inclinations and eccentricities of dust particles by the electromagnetic forces in the Jovian magnetosphere. The outer boundary of the halo ring coincides with location of a strong 3-2 Lorentz resonance. As pointing Robertson drag causes particles to slowly drift towards Jupiter, their orbital inclinations are excited while passing through it. The bloom of the main ring may be a beginning of the halo. The halo ring's inner boundary is not far from the strongest 2-1 Lorentz resonance. In this resonance the excitation is probably very significant, forcing particles to plunge into the Jovian atmosphere thus defining a sharp inner boundary. Being derived from the main ring, the halo has the same age. <laughs> Gossamer rings <laughs> Amalthea Gossamer ring The Amalthea gossamer ring is a very faint structure with a rectangular cross section, stretching from the orbit of Amalthea at 182,000 km RJ to about 129,000 km RJ. Its inner boundary is not clearly defined because of the presence of the much brighter main ring and halo. The thickness of the ring is approximately 2,300 km near the orbit of Amalthea and slightly decreases in the direction of Jupiter. The Amalthea gossamer ring is actually the brightest near its top and bottom edges and becomes gradually brighter towards Jupiter, one of the edges is often brighter than another. The outer boundary of the ring is relatively steep, the ring's brightness drops abruptly just inward of the orbit of Amalthea, although it may have a small extension beyond the orbit of the satellite ending near 4-3 resonance with Tebe. In forward scattered light the ring appears to be about 30 times fainter than the main ring. In back scattered light it has been detected only by the Keck telescope and the AXE advanced camera for surveys on HST. Back scattering images show additional structure in the ring, a peak in the brightness just inside the Amalthean orbit and confined to the top or bottom edge of the ring. In 2002-2003 Galileo spacecraft had two passes through the gossamer rings. During them its dust counter detected dust particles in the size range 0. 2 to 5 micrometers. In addition, the Galileo spacecraft's star scanner detected small, discrete bodies the detection of the Amalthea gossamer ring from the ground, in Galileo images and the direct dust measurements have allowed the determination of the particle size distribution, which appears to follow the same power law as the dust in the main ring with Q equals 2 plus or minus 0.5. The optical depth of this ring is about 10^-7, which is an order of magnitude lower than that of the main ring, but the total mass of the dust, 107 to 109 kilograms, is comparable. 
Topic Tebe Gossamer Ring The Tebe Gossamer Ring is the faintest Jovian ring. It appears as a very faint structure with a rectangular cross section, stretching from the Thebian orbit at 226,000 km to about 129,000 km 1 RJ winking face. Its inner boundary is not clearly defined because of the presence of the much brighter main ring and halo. The thickness of the ring is approximately 8,400 km near the orbit of Tebe and slightly decreases in the direction of the planet. The Tebe Gossamer ring is brightest near its top and bottom edges and gradually becomes brighter towards Jupiter, much like the Amalthea ring. The outer boundary of the ring is not especially steep, stretching over 15,000 km. There is a barely visible continuation of the ring beyond the orbit of Tebe, extending up to 280,000 km RJ and called the Tebe extension. In forward scattered light the ring appears to be about three times fainter than the Amalthea Gossamer ring. In back scattered light it has been detected only by the Keck telescope. Back scattering images show a peak of brightness just inside the orbit of Tebe. In 2002–2003 the dust counter of the Galileo spacecraft detected dust particles in the size range 0.2 to 5 micrometers, similar to those in the Amalthea ring, and confirmed the results obtained from imaging. The optical depth of the Tebe Gossamer ring is about 3 times 10 minus 8, which is 3 times lower than the Amalthea Gossamer ring, but the total mass of the dust is the same, about 107 to 109 kg. However the particle size distribution of the dust is somewhat shallower than in the Amalthea ring. It follows a power law with Q topic origin of the gossamer rings the dust in the gossamer rings originates in essentially the same way as that in the main ring and halo. Its sources are the inner Jovian moons Amalthea and Tebe respectively. High velocity impacts by projectiles coming from outside the Jovian system eject dust particles from their surfaces. These particles initially retain the same orbits as their moons but then gradually spiral inward by pointing Robertson drag. The thickness of the gossamer rings is determined by vertical excursions of the moons due to their non-zero orbital inclinations. This hypothesis naturally explains almost all observable properties of the rings, rectangular cross-section, decrease of thickness in the direction of Jupiter and brightening of the top and bottom edges of the rings, however some properties have so far gone unexplained, like the Tebe extension, which may be due to unseen bodies outside Tebe's orbit, and structures visible in the back-scattered light. One possible explanation of the Tebe extension is influence of the electromagnetic forces from the Jovian magnetosphere. When the dust enters the shadow behind Jupiter, it loses its electrical charge fairly quickly. Since the small dust particles partially corrotate with the planet, they will move outward during the shadow pass creating an outward extension of the Tebe gossamer ring. The same forces can explain a dip in the particle distribution and ring's brightness, which occurs between the orbits of Amalthea and Tebe, the peak in the brightness just inside of the Amalthea's orbit and, therefore, the vertical asymmetry the Amalthea gossamer ring may be due to the dust particles trapped at the leading L4 and trailing L5 Lagrange points of this moon. The particles may also follow horseshoe orbits between the Lagrangian points. The dust may be present at the leading and trailing Lagrange points of Tebe as well. This discovery implies that there are two particle populations in the gossamer rings, one slowly drifts in the direction of Jupiter as described above, while another remains near a source moon trapped in one-to-one -one resonance with it. <laughs> Himalaya ring The small moon Dia, 4 km in diameter, had gone missing since its discovery in 2000. One theory was that it had crashed into the much larger moon Himalaya, 170 km in diameter, creating a faint ring. This possible ring appears as a faint streak near Himalaya in images from NASA's New Horizons mission to Pluto. This suggests that Jupiter sometimes gains and loses small moons through collisions. However, the recovery of Dia in 2010 and 2011 disproves the link between Dia and the Himalaya ring, although it is still possible that a different moon may have been involved. Topic. Exploration The existence of the Jovian rings was inferred from observations of the planetary radiation belts by Pioneer 11 spacecraft in 1975. In 1979 the Voyager 1 spacecraft obtained a single overexposed image of the ring system. 
More extensive imaging was conducted by Voyager 2 in the same year, which allowed rough determination of the ring structure. The superior quality of the images obtained by the Galileo orbiter between 1995 and 2003 greatly extended the existing knowledge about the Jovian rings. Ground-based observation of the rings by the Keck telescope in 1997 and 2002 and the HST in 1999 revealed the rich structure visible in back-scattered light. Images transmitted by the New Horizons spacecraft in February to March 2007 allowed observation of the fine structure in the main ring for the first time. In 2000, the Cassini spacecraft en route to Saturn conducted extensive observations of the Jovian ring system. Future missions to the Jovian system will provide additional information about the rings. Topic. Gallery Topic. See also Moons of Jupiter Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. External links Jupiter Rings Fact Sheet Jupiter's Rings by NASA's Solar System Exploration NASA Pioneer Project Page NASA Voyager Project Page NASA Galileo Project Page NASA Cassini Project Space New Horizons Project Page Planetary Ring Node, Jupiter's Ring System Rings of Jupiter Nomenclature from the USGS Planetary Nomenclature Page